So here's my Benin 930. Um, I was reading on the, the BTS forum, Bernina 30 somethings, about the, the LEDs, the, the diodes as they're called in the manual. That's the D of light emitting diodes. We've got two down here and the two up here. Um, it's just a way of telling have you got the, the red stitches selected, the fancier ones, or the green stitches selected, the I mean, admittedly, there's large, a larger amount of green ones, but they're less decorative. Um, you just flick this to select between the two. Um, however, as you can see, if I turn my machine on, and the, there's no... it's not lighting up. And I had thought it was... oh, they're so old, the, the LEDs have burnt out. But... Um, Maybe, maybe, um, back here, there is a transformer that has gone, um, so they're not getting power. So that's going to be what I'm trying to figure out. Can I test the transformer? And if I replace it, if it's broken, will it fix the lights? Out in the workshop now, um, I've got the board just on a on a holder. Um, you can see this one here, which we're replacing, if we watch it spin over, it is having these two points, which just go through a resistor and onto the, the connectors. So this is going to be the secondary side of our transformer. And then here are the two pins for the primary side, and we can trace them all the way down and into sort of this area here. If we spin it over, is around here-ish, which ooh, <laughs> um, also has the um, capacitor that I'd replaced last time. So I would I would guess it's getting its larger 240 volts coming down. Not guess, I know it's having its 240 volts coming down. The transformer is then reducing it down to 9.7 and on the replacement it'll be 9 and then I'll be able to push those volts down into these plugs here. Now I can't desolder it um, holding a phone so I'll bring you back when it's taken apart. Okay, here's the blown transistor. You can see it's sort of cracked and blackened on the bottom of soot where it was sitting. Um, so when I get the replacement one, the, the key part to be aware of is will will the pins match up? And the, the answer is no. No, of course not. Um, it, it's a, a newer transformer. It's, it's not a direct replacement. I was just having a think, even if I you know, I didn't see that, and I just suspected that this was broken. How how would I test it? Um, with my multimeter, as long as I've desoldered it, I can put it to the ohms, and if it reads OL when I connect up either of these pairs, um, I know that it's. That's the reason. Now, can I do this one-handed? Possibly. Possibly not. <laughs> Let's see. This, this is the one that I've tested in it and is broken. So um, this is the primary side. Here we go. If I hold it with my fingers, it gives a false reading. So OL, this side has, has failed the primary side. I bring it around to the secondary and I try and get them squeezed. Yeah, so it's reading something there. So the, the secondary side is fine. It's the primary side that's failed. I can't be touching the probes to hold it on there. That'll give me a false reading. And if I still had it soldered in there, um, because it's connected to all the other components, um, I couldn't trust the reading I was getting. But that's how you, how you check. Um, 
set it to ohms and then touch on the, on the primary side and then on the secondary side. If either of them give you that OL reading, that's the, the side that's broken. If both of them give you a reading, the transformer's fine. It's something else that's at fault. So the values on the side of the transformer lead me to this as a replacement. Here's two different websites, both giving me the same, same one, although this image may not be exactly right. The important bits, 230 volts, 9 volts, and then this is the, the 0.5 or the 0, 0.5 that you can see on the side. You can kind of see it a bit clearer with how they've written it here, but um, it's around that sort of $12, um, $11 New Zealand um, figure, so I think I ended up paying uh, $20 to get it from this site where they're in stock um, rather than this site where they're on back order. But here are kind of the bits that you'd want to use if you were searching. 230, um, I mean really anything in the sort of 210 to 230 volts is going to be fine. Um, 9 volts, again if it was, I think it's 9.7 on the side of the other, on the actual Benina transformer, 9 volts is going to be fine, and then 500 um, milli VA, so sort of talking about amps with the, the A, um, but 0.5 or 500 MVA is going to get you in the right ballpark. You also want to make sure it's through hole. Um, through hole just means having those pins at the bottom, it's easier to see here. Um, going through the PCB. So this here is the replacement. Hopefully that's um, helpful enough for everyone to find it. Um, on the board we've got the primary side and the secondary side. The secondary I've had to bend. Um, thankfully the um, two primary pins fit right back in the holes they need to but and I've marked them with a pencil the secondary side um, don't fit and in fact they they fit in a position that means that they would be coming through on those traces there so what I'll be doing I will be soldering some little extra um, wire onto it. This wire is the same thickness as the little legs coming out here. Um, I am using, what am I using? 22 AWG solid core. Solid or stranded it doesn't really matter. Um, solid is a little bit firmer so I'm sort of thinking I, w I want to be able to bend them and solder them through. So that's what I'm going to do now. Back in my living room. Um, I have powered it on, I have plugged it in. The LEDs do turn on now. Um, however, I have an issue. As it stands at the moment, when I go to close it, there is something in the way. And it's the blast. How I've put it in, reusing those two lower holes just puts this this corner here just above the lip so I'm gonna have to desolder it all and what I'll do is I will probably reorientate it this way um, so here's my solution um, I've taken all of the pins and bent them to the sides the two green ones with extending um, 22 um, AWG um, wire, what I'd use on a breadboard, um, and then I've got a, a blue one, and tucked away in there, another blue one um, that are doing the primary um, 
connectors. You can see they're all soldered through. It's still lifting it up a little bit, but hopefully by pushing it more this way and by having this rather than that edge, um, it will fit without um, obstructing that um, cover. Let's check. Everything's all plugged in. And if I come around here, turn it on. It doesn't blink off the video, but um, we've got the LED, green, if I switch it, I've got red, and red. And yeah, not blinking to my human vision, only picked up on the video. Fantastic.